Hello, my friends. I hope you're all doing well today. I'm doing pretty well, and oh my gosh, guys, we finally got a new skin. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a pretty simple guy. I don't have much of a preference when it comes to my clothing, but that blue shirt? No, mm -mm, that was not cutting it. Gray shirt, though. Now, this is my jam. I'm gonna probably wear this every single day. <laughs> so, in the last episode, uh, we got working on our carrot field, as you can see. And in between episodes, I've laid out the area for our next major crop farm. And this is going to be our potato farm. But as you can see, it's empty because I don't have any potatoes. Currently growing some in there, but until that gets going, I don't have any potatoes. But that's not a big deal. I've also simply laid out a pretty small wall design out of this stone, but I think it works really well. And we added it all around our carrot farm as well. And then as you saw in the opening time-lapse footage I went ahead and I built our second farming silo as well so this is an exact replica of that one however this one has this added support at the bottom with the stone and I don't know what it is about it if it's because it's offset by one but man it really adds a lot uh, at least in my opinion so if you like that let me know I will probably add that to that one as well and as far as today's episode we are taking a bit of a break from the crop farming because I don't want to do that two episodes in a row. But we are still going to be doing some farming, but it's going to be of some animals. In today's episode, I want to build a cow farm and a chicken farm. I've gone ahead over here and I've laid out some wool for a rough idea of where these farms will be. So this white wool will represent our chicken farm and the gray wool, the gray wool, huh, the gray wool will represent our cow farm so now you're probably wondering why i even went through the trouble of laying down an outline for something as simple as a cow or chicken farm because while they are extremely simple i have to uh i want to balance form and function as well like i usually try to do with my builds so i've actually spent a lot of time in creative and i've came up with some designs for some structures that i think are pretty cool and can fit well in this area I also enjoy coming up with these designs because, believe it or not, building building things from the ground up in Minecraft is always something that I've struggled with, and I really want to get better at it, so I've actually been doing a lot of practicing. And lastly, I chose this location because it follows along nicely from a, our path we already created, and if we head over this way, it leads right over into this pretty cool and fun river area, and I definitely want to explore start expanding into this direction because there's a lot of fun things we can do over here so yeah if you guys are excited um remember to subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you've been enjoying the series so far but i'm gonna gather up some resources and i will get ready to start building these things and i'll be right back all right guys so we're back over here and i've started laying out a rough foundation for the chicken coop and i have some materials in here um this is mostly what we're going to be using pretty standard stuff I have a really fun design for the this chicken coop and really quickly I want to mention that if you notice the opening time lapse was a little bit different than it normally is that's because it was because I actually downloaded the replay mod so they actually ended up releasing it for 1.15 for the public it initially was just for streamers and popular youtubers and they just made it public so I downloaded that and I want to dedicate this episode to tweaking with it and practicing making my own time lapses with it so that is my goal for these two builds is to uh, build both of them with the replay mod i'll probably do one at a time so the files aren't too large and i want to try and make some cool time lapses out of it now i want to preface this by saying that the replay mod extremely buggy right now like very buggy in my testing the other day i think Almost one third to one fourth of my recordings would fail to render and you would lose the file, which really sucks. So I'm hoping that I can figure out what's causing it or maybe it's just because it's new and maybe it'll get better as time goes on. But I'm hoping that it's going to work for this. With all this said, let's get building this thing and I hope you enjoy what is most likely a pretty fun time lapse.
I love the replay mod. Okay, seriously. That thing makes editing an average clip seem like it's the most epic thing in the world. And the fact that you can use shaders in your replays make it even cooler. So I am super excited to keep using that in the future and keep learning better ways to make fun time lapses. That is absolutely my favorite thing to do. Time lapses have been the most fun thing to make in this series. So definitely going to be making more of those. So I hope you guys enjoy those. And now that we're done with the main structure of the chicken coop, here you take a quick look at the actual design uh, in my view. I like the roof a lot. I really, I really, really enjoy the medieval, medieval style. Uh, words are hard, really hard. Of uh, the way the, the shape is, and I like how it kind of indents inward. I don't know. I think it's cool. Really fun. And anyways, now that we're done with the structure, we can actually um, talk quickly about how the chicken coop will work. So the design that I'm going off of is similar to some that I've watched on YouTube, but has my own twist you know for form and function so i'd rather not just shove all of my chicken into a one by one hole and call it a day i totally could and that'd be totally efficient and probably more efficient than what i'm going to build here but that's not really cool so i want to have a i want to be able to see chicken out roaming around having fun and also get their drops automatically so that's what we're going to work with today so with that said let's get started so the first thing here is we're gonna add some hoppers in one block below these. And I need to make these grass. So I'm gonna use my silk touch axe. So the reason that I'm taking this grass is because I need it to go back, but we're gonna put some hoppers in here. It's gonna be nighttime, we'll do it quick. And these hoppers are gonna funnel in towards the center right here, we'll say. So we'll have all these going in. Now the reason these hoppers are going to all funnel towards the center is because we want to have our drops go to underneath the coop and we're going to actually raise them up into the coop because we're going to store everything in the coop. So we can still go inside of the structure to get our drops in the end. It's going to be fun. So we'll get that there. I'm going to hop in this bed and sleep and have some beautiful dreams about Minecraft because I love this game. And when we wake up in the morning, good morning world, beautiful. We can replace these back. Now, the reason I want grass here, I actually don't want grass. You'll see what I want. Let me get two more. Okay, messed up the first two. We'll put these two back. And what we're going to do, right now, if I, if I drop an item right here, it doesn't get sucked up because there's a full block of grass here. However, path blocks aren't full blocks. So now, if I drop an item, they both get sucked up. So that was dumb of me because now I got to go back in here. Um, ah, screw it. We'll just go do it. But let me get more grass and turn it into path. So you see what I mean here. So what this is going to mean is that the chickens, when they roam around here, live in their life, you know, free range chicken, the best eggs. You know, you know if you know. Um, they're going to lay their eggs and they're going to get sucked up into those hoppers. Those hoppers are going to feed into a dispenser system. It's going to dif uh, dispense them. And the baby chickens are going to be down underneath the ground where we can't see them. And when they grow up, they're going to suffocate and give us their drops. So this is going to be a raw chicken farm. That's because we want raw chicken for trading. I don't plan on using this for a food because I can buy golden carrots, which is my favorite food to eat. And raw chicken will work just fine because if we have cooked chicken, we won't be able to trade with it. And we can trade the feathers. After that, we can go ahead and begin setting up the automation section of our chicken farm. So all this is going to be held underground because automation looks kind of crappy for the most part. I don't like how redstone looks, so we're going to have this underground. And the way this works is these hoppers will feed into this dispenser. So this is going to be a smart dispenser. So when an egg goes in here, it's going to get dispensed out. So what's going to happen is we're going to have a slab right there. And then we're going to surround this with blocks, but not yet. Baby chickens are going to sit on top of this slab and they are small enough such that they can live under here totally fine. Then when they grow up, however, they'll be too big and they will suffocate in here and their drops then will go into an hopper like so, which will feed into this output uh, dropper. So like so, any item that gets tossed, get into there and then end up in there so perfect from there 
I'm going to temporarily remove this and show you how to set up the automatic dispenser. And after clearing some headspace, we can go ahead, place a comparator. Now, zombie, come on, don't you know I'm recording? Place a comparator outside of the dispenser. From there, we'll grab an observer, have an observer going into this comparator like so. And we will have another, that's not how that goes. <laughs> It would help if you make sure your observer is facing the right way. So this actually needs to go into that, like so. so. Now the two observers will see each other. And when items go in here, they will be dispensed out. So these are going to be eggs that the chickens lay. And after adding in our second dropper system, as well as a little bit of a storage setup, we can now give this thing a test. So I just have three barrels in here, which is totally fine. And if I put in, let's see these 10 wood planks throw these in there go check you hear it working i should get 10 out got two there nine there okay i had 11 so i already had one in the system yeah that's fine so it definitely works cool and i want to clarify this rule that i have about no one by ones really means no visible one by ones i'm totally cool with if it's there in a one by one as long as i can't see it i won't feel bad <laughs> so you know the replay mod that thing that I mentioned at the beginning of the episode that crashes a lot and is pretty buggy. Yeah, it happened. I built the whole entire cow farm. And none of the footage made it through. It all became corrupt when I went to edit the replay. Oh joy. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll keep our uh, head on the positive side because this build is amazing. But here's our cow farm. It has the same exact roof designed as the actual chick coop, but it has a stone brick outline. And my cats are making noise in the background. Ignore them if you can hear them. And moving on along the sides here, we have some beautiful texturing. I'm really a huge fan of the stripped dark oak. I think it looks great with spruce. And then in here we have our uh, our little cow pen with some coarse dirt, hay bales, some lanterns, and a little bit of grass to spice it up. Make it look a little bit muddy and uh, dirty in here. And then we have our one by ones, which I'm not super proud of, but we need them because these are our cow crushers. So normally you just have one cow crusher, but I want to have three because that just seems appropriate. And we got some more hay bales, lantern, even got a cute little wheelbarrow over here. I don't know. I like it. And then some, some, you know, storage if we want to put some wheat in here to help breed these guys. And then additionally, I built this super cool little storage cellar down here. It's actually on half slabs so i might remove this torch let me know what you think actually i'll leave the torch out for right now but all of our cow drops will go into these barrels so not a whole lot of storage but if we come by here regularly and snag the beef and leather it'd be pretty good and moving along here i added in some beautiful paths connected it up to our carrot farm of course you know the coarse dirt and the grass decorated the outside with some more hay bales and then i have this uh Bending out past the chicken coop, and then I have a pathway coming out here to the back, going over to this pond that I didn't make. It was actually already here. And let me know if you guys want me to build like a campfire or maybe a little fishing hut out here. But yeah, this area definitely came together, I think. Once I added the path, I was like, holy cow, this looks really freaking good. And let me turn on shaders really quick. I'll show you, show you a quick look here with the shaders so you can see what it looks like i think it looks amazing i would have loved to have a time lapse of me building the cow farm with the shaders but that's all right i mean let me know what you think but i think that looks pretty dang cool so i'm really excited to keep working on this area in the next coming episodes well my friends i'm gonna be ending this one here because believe it or not I spent a lot of extra time this episode fiddling around with the replay mod so unfortunately I'm all out of time for this one but anyways I still had a lot of fun with what we built and we got some pretty cool progress it may not be like our usual episodes but it looks good and it was fun so that's what matters right so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed and of course if you have any questions or comments or anything you want to let me know um, leave your comments down below leave a like and also subscribe if you want to see more of this series I'm having a lot of fun making this. I will see you guys the next one.